Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. So after a couple of weeks, uh, I'm back again, okay, with uh, updates about the counseling and analysis and what's going on, everything I will explain. Regarding the current update about the round one counseling particularly, and we will also talk about what's going on in round two, which is uh, more important to know. And I'll create a separate video once the <coughs> state round one uh, completes for every state. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, uh, you can subscribe it and uh, this is my number on the screen, you can see 9319128677. You can contact us on this number. Okay, so the update, uh, the most awaiting uh, part of the counseling is uh, All India Round 2 result, which is uh, scheduled to happen on 19th of October, but it will come tomorrow okay and daytime or by evening tomorrow because the provisional list they publish one day before and on the date where it is expected to uh, publish the final result they will uh, publish the final one okay but in the most of the cases the provisional itself is the final one so talking about the state by updates okay uh, andhra pradesh everything is done for cat a and cat b okay when I say everything, it means uh, starting from registration, choice filling, result, and reporting. So wherever you can see green color, it means uh, all completed. Okay. So Andhra Pradesh, uh, All India, Andhra Pradesh, CAT A, CAT B. Okay. In Bihar state, the uh, result uh, is expected to be published today. Uh, you can expect it in a few hours. Okay. The first round uh, result got cancelled and uh, it was very good positive shift in round one. Candidate got uh, good clinical seats in uh, up to rank of 50,000 or more than that. Chhattisgarh, the result is pending and so the reporting. Gujarat, everything is completed. In Haryana, a study we had got the result. There is a little bit of positive shift compared to last year and more positive shift we could see in upper clinical branches. The Haryana counseling was also delayed, okay, and in round two, there is free exit in round one and there was no security deposit as well. But in round two, they will ask you to uh, put two lakhs of rupees for participating into private medical colleges or if you want to go for upgradation. Uh, today is the last date to raise the grievance against the provision allotment. Himachal Pradesh, everything is done. In Karnataka, the result is published and up to 20th, you can do the joining. All the options, uh, around option one, option two, option three, and option four, and uh, fee deposition. In round two, you have to submit the original documents and you need to travel again to Bangalore in order to submit the documents and then only you can proceed with uh, further rounds so there is a free exit option also there is no security deposit in round two you have to submit original documents Ketla everything is done maharashtra everything is done uh, madh pradesh the joining is up to 18th okay in Pondicherry, the result is still awaited punjab round one everything is done for round two choice uh, so round two registration um, the schedule is published okay and in Rajasthan, tomorrow is the last day to register for round two. For round one, everything done. And uh, there was security deposit, deposit two lakhs, but the first round was free exit. Ka, Tamil Nadu, Kate, everything was done. Tamil Nadu, uh, up to tomorrow, the uh, date got extended up to tomorrow to resign from the joint seat. Okay. Telangana, Kate, everything is done, but uh, in Telangana, Kate, B choice filling and uh, result is awaited okay and in Uttarakhand in Uttarakhand up to 26th you can get the result and the choice filling will start from 19th up to 20 and then you can do the reporting up to 2nd of November Odisha Uttar Pradesh West Bengal Jharkhand everything is done okay and in Jharkhand the registration for round two is also going on so this is update uh, and uh, there are few states okay 
आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट उत्तराखंड देन हरियाणा पौंडीचेरी एंड तेलंगाना दीज आर द स्टेट्स वेयर द काउंसलिंग को डिलेट दिस ईयर एंड बिहार स्टेट एज वेल सो विच एवर स्टेट्स डिले इस काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस दे दे गिव यू सम गिफ्ट गिफ्ट इन द सेंस द कट ऑफ यू विल बी पॉजिटिव फॉर दोज स्टेट्स बिकॉज द कैंडिडेट हु आर वेटिंग फॉर दोज स्टेट्स ओके विल बी गोइंग फॉर सम अदर ओपन स्टेट्स और डोमिसाइल स्टेट एज वेल सो इफ दे हैपन टू गेट सीट एंड लिटिल बिट सेटिस्फाइड ऑल्सो विद द सीट दे गोट फॉर मदर स्टेट दे विल ज्वाइन इट सपोज सम कैंडिडेट्स वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर सीट इन उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार हरियाणा एंड तेलंगाना ओके सो तेलंगाना एंड हरियाणा एंड बिहार काउंसलिंग को डिलेट बट द ज्वाइनिंग प्रोसेस अलॉटमेंट एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद गोट ओवर बाई फोर्टीन ओनली इन यू पी सो द कैंडिडेट वुड हैव नो ऑप्शन बेटर दैन ज्वाइनिंग इन उत्तर प्रदेश ओके बट सो देर बिल पॉजिटिव शिफ्ट इन अदर स्टेट्स फेयर द कैंडिडेट वुड बी इंटरेस्टेड टू ज्वाइन अलॉन्ग विथ उत्तर प्रदेश सो यू नीड टू कंसिडर ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स ओके एंड इन राउंड टू एल्सो द पॉजिटिव शिफ्ट विल कंटिन्यू फॉर सच स्टेट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट राउंड टू ऑल इंडिया there will be definitely positive shift compared to round 1 okay and depending on the branches the positive shift will be change will change uh, you can expect like uh, in uh, pediatrics obstetrics orthopedics such branch uh, general surgery md and ms you can expect positive shift by like 2 to 3000 at least rank and in uh, other clinical subjects like anesthesia which gets close at the Uh, low strength okay you can expect more positive shift and uh, one more uh, point you need to consider in round 1 the first uh, allotment got cancelled okay so now the uh, closing rank you have from round 1 okay is revised closing rank okay usually it doesn't happen every year that the result gets published and it get cancelled and uh, candidate get to know like it Uh, as a mock result and they change their sequence and they get the uh, better preferences or the seat allotted in case they haven't got allotted so you can see more positive shift because first there was x cut off and then uh, uh, from x there was little bit of negative shift in the round one itself x minus y so from x minus y if you are expecting positive shift by z rank then Uh, this year it will be more okay that you will come to know uh, talking about mop up okay since the uh, the counseling got delayed okay and those who have been waiting for the state round one okay they have also filled the choices for all india round two but more candidates this year will go for security deposit forfeit in case they come from uh, obc sc st category or even general category 10000 or 25000 is not big amount if you are going for better colleges but at the same time you can you, you, if you want good colleges and you are getting the branches then round 2 is the best round if you are getting seat in round 2 then you must join it and if it's good college because uh, chances of getting better college in mop up round will be less okay but chances of getting better branches will be high in mop up okay but you have to compromise in the, in terms of uh, institutes or colleges the cut off for dnb or nb diploma will be better in mop up round this year as well okay so those who are targeting uh, dnb or nb diploma they they may likely to go for mop up round also and there won't be big risk but for ms and md government colleges better you try to take the seat in the round 2 itself okay so i'll discuss more once uh, the result is out how you can take the decision about because round 2 is very decisive and you should take a decision uh, because in mop up it might be risky you may not go the best seat okay so with this uh, note i'm closing this uh, discussion okay we will meet again and uh, you can contact us on this number 9319128677 there is a telegram group also you can join the telegram group 
the link for the telegram group is given in the description of the video okay and you can also contact us for personalized counseling guidance so thanks for watching have a nice day